Good morning. Uh, so I am a little bit late getting started today, so we'll have to do something quick. Um, as I have a stand up uh, in a f half an hour or so. Um, so uh, let's have a look at my to do list. Something quick. OK, change list format on the CLI. OK, well, I can probably do this first bit. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to do this second bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is in the CLI, um, let's get to where we've got it. So at the moment, let's bump up the uh, size a little bit there. Um, if I run snippet C list, we get this massive list of things and it includes things like the UUID, uh, the abbreviation, the actual body, um, and then the last, last date used and all that kind of stuff, um, which is just way too much info for the list. Um, if I do, uh, hold on a sec, uh, help list. At the moment, all we've got are flags for whether to search uh, to sort by last used um, or to add a search string, uh, which happens by default anyway. So I can just do and we just get the three example ones we've got there. So let's change this up. Um, I definitely need to make it by default a lot simpler and easier. Um, so ideally we just want the abbreviation and the body But do we want a separator? I think we're going to need it. Um, you can imagine that if you just wanted a space as separator, but if you had um, an abbreviation that ended with a space so that you could like type space done, um, which hopefully we'll bring back if we bring back auto expanding. Uh, you kind of need that separator still, I think. Well, we'll do that anyway, um, and then um, we'll see. And then use some sort of format of, of fields parameter to add or remove fields from the display. Yeah. OK, right then. OK, let's um, close off all these things. And we'll go to the CLI. We haven't been in there for a while. Um, hmm. Where am I doing the formatting? I do not know. It's been a while. Import. I should probably just search for list. Hmm. No, I have no idea. Okay, stick. So in the run, check the config. Do either a ping, status, export, import, add, get. Okay. Yeah, because it's not list. Right, here we go. Okay, I've got I've already got a bunch of to do's. Uh, implement a proper output formatting limiter selection required. Show first line or full body. Show truncated body. Select which field to show. Okay, <laughs> ah, to do's great. 
Um, none of that's in my um, inbox tracker though. Okay, let's... Well, we're going to need a little function here, aren't we? Um, because we can't do this all in the main. Um, so, I think what we'll do is we'll create a new a new file, but just still for the same package, I think. You can always move it later. Um, and do some little tests. Yeah, I'm not going to get this done fully, but maybe we can just move it, make sure that works, um, and do a very basic starting output, which is basically this. Hmm. Just realized how that's working. It's doing um, a marshal. Well, no. Hmm. Okay. Need to be careful here. So this is where it's actually been output. Forgot about that. Okay. So at the moment, that is adhering to the stringer. I presume, yeah. So that's basically having a function like that, which returns string on an object, means uh, you can basically do format. You can basically do these kind of very simple, hey, print this. Um, to some sort of buffer. And at the moment, we're just doing it straight to the standard out. So what am I going to do here? Do I want to muck about with that? Or do I want to supplement it and keep that as a, a very simple, basic function that could be used?
Is there? I wonder. Built in things with Go, or at least the packages that I should be using for doing a formatted string where you can pass in any number. of fields and it effectively does this because we're kind of, we're kind of already doing that but i wonder if there's like an interface for how you set these things up a bit like we have for the stringer interface Okay, what am I using so far? I'm using sprintf, but that's purely to get the string for fprint with line because I want a new line. I'm basically doing this. Hmm, should I just make it super simple? I could. What I could be doing here is basically a sprint line.
Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to do just a quick test here. So instead of formatting, we are just going to S print in a specific order by default. This is just a quick test. Let's see what kind of mess this is. Uh, where's the spaces? Oh, and neither is a string. Interesting. Why? Hmm, okay, well, we can't do that. Instead, let's do a quick, quick test to see what this looks like with spaces. It's not horrendous. And what if The default is simply what we want. That is definitely easier to read. but it's probably not. The most useful thing if you're using the package and you just want to get some string you can pass out. Hmm. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this how it was. And that's just the package default. And we will just have a separate utility for formatting. I could just imagine that being quite useful, being able to do that as is. 
and then split on that. But I don't want that as the default anyway for the CLI. I'm kind of talking at two different levels here. So, okay. But where do we put this formatting function? Do we put it in here? That's where the knowledge on snippet is. I think of the best way to do it. What we could do is we could have basically a formatting function, which that string is actually going to call. So we could have something like um, We could actually call it a sprinter, couldn't we? So S print always returns a string. Hmm, I might be overcomplicating things here. I was thinking about going through all this stuff here. Don't need to do that. I just need to output some stuff. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. All right, let's just do a simple, um, what we're going to call it. I think. Need to be careful, I suppose, not to clash with these in case they do implement something similar.
let's just go long for, for the moment. And what we'll do is we will say we will take ID as a bill uh, abbreviation as a bill body as a bill and last used as a bill it's going to return a string And now comes the fun bit. So yep, so I'm gonna run out of time before I even get to this bit. Um Well, the goal is to end up doing something like this. Oh. I also need... Delimiter as string. Just wondering where better to pass in a um a struct. Because then then I could set up with defaults. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, right, let's, let's take that. Start off really basic. Um, Should really do some tests, you know, because then I can start breaking it and fixing it, breaking it, fixing it. Hmm. 
Hmm, I should do that. Uh, and we haven't got any tests this. Those we have. Okay. Right, I'm going to take this test. So it creates a snippet. And then we're going to do format a string. And we're going to go yes, yes. Yes, yes, and that. <laughs> so we're faking it at the moment because we are just duplicating what's going on here. Should in theory still pass. Yep. But it's completely faking it. Um, because if we now do something else, so out is now going to be, um, let's do. False on the ID and last used. Yeah. And we'll make it a space. So what we want is I take it uh, is there a not contains? I presume not. So I can just do a knot anyway. No. Because you don't need that. So if Oh, let me have true, don't we have any? It's like this, so. Can I do this? I don't think I can, can I? All right, I'll try that. Um, true string contains that true it contains. That. 
Well, we don't even need to do that. We know exactly what we want. So... Take those out and we'll just do the, uh, the knot here. In fact, we can do this. Doesn't include the ID. doesn't include date and I've got to go um, and we are expecting it to be effectively this so this is going to fail It doesn't... what? Oh, because I'm in the wrong place. Ah! Oops. Yeah, that fails now. Okay. Let me just double check that what I did before did pass. Yes, okay. Right. And now this should fail. Because I haven't fixed it yet. Okay. Right. So we're at the point here. To do make pass fix it up formatted string okay so that's my to do for next time uh, because at the moment obviously that's not going to work But yeah, I've got to go. So uh, just a quickie there, um, just to get started on that little feature. Um, uh, so until next time, uh, take care. Um.